Welcome to The Joy of Music. Featuring as hostess, Diane Big, the first lady of the organ. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Diane Bish. Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today on the program, we are going to be featuring some great patriotic music, music that brings to remembrance this great nation under God. How fortunate we are to live in a nation where we are free to worship and free to live and do as we please. However, with that great freedom, we also have a great responsibility, a responsibility to God. And God has called us as a nation and as individuals to commit and trust our lives to Him. Let me read for you some interesting verses in the Psalms. In Psalm 33 it reads, Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. Praise the Lord with harp, sing unto Him with the psaltery, and an instrument of ten strings. Sing unto Him a new song, play skillfully with a loud noise. And then in verse 12 it says, And blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, and the people whom He hath chosen for His own inheritance. Our great country has had some very colorful composers, one of which is Dudley Buck. And he has written variations on the Star Spangled Banner for organ. These are most interesting because they use all of the resources of the organ, including pedals alone. So let's listen now to excerpts from variations on the Star Spangled Banner.
very moving spirituals, which we have heard sung by many of the choirs in our nation, are also a part of our great musical heritage. These pieces were sung by people who had many troubles and many woes in life, and their faith was the only thing that they had that put any meaning into their lives at all. They wanted to go to be in heaven. They wanted to be with the Lord where they would be free at last. We're going to hear two of these spirituals now. The first one will be sung by the Wheaton Men's Glee Club. Sooner we'll be done with the troubles of the world. And then you will hear when the saints go marching in as sung by the choir of the Coral Ridge Church here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida.
You know, in this nation, one just couldn't go to a patriotic event or a concert without hearing one of the great marches played by many of our bands across the country. Well, we don't have a band with us today, but we're going to listen to the most famous march that we have here in America, written by the famous band conductor, John Philip Sousa. This is the Stars and Stripes Forever as played by Nielsen and Young and Christine Capote. As we read at the beginning of the program today from Psalm 33, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. We have listened now to some of our great spirituals. We have listened to one of our famous marches. And now we turn to probably the most famous of all patriotic pieces, a piece that talks about our faith in God as a nation and as individuals. It is the Battle Hymn of the Republic as sung by the American Boy Choir under the direction of John Kuzma.
As we read at the beginning of the program today from Psalm 33, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. We also talked about the freedom which we have in this country, the freedom to live as we wish and the freedom to worship. But the Bible tells us that the only way that we are going to be free is to be free in Jesus Christ. Christ has said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. He also said that I am the way and the truth and the life. Many people in this country have grown away from God and have never known Him. But God calls us back to Him because our nation can never be great if we as individuals have not committed our lives to Him. In 2 Chronicles 7.14, it says this, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music, and we'll look forward to seeing you again next week. <laughs>